I'm actually really excited. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it now, just like the first game. I haven't played any game, any canon game within the Professor Layton series. <clears throat> um, I played Professor Layton. Was it Ace Attorney versus Professor Layton? I believe that's what the proper title is. Uh, I've played that, but aside from that, in the first game, I haven't played any game in the series. So, of course, I don't know what's coming up. So if you'll be so kind as to not reveal anything over the course of this game, I, I'm okay with you solving puzzles with me. I'm not okay with you telling me what's about to happen next to the story. I want to experience this story as if as if I'm not told anything. Oh, and before we get into it, how you guys doing? I'm Chill the Beast, host of Alt Play. My name's not Alt Play. Nobody, there's no single individual named Alt Play. There are tales of a box that brings death upon any who dare open it. Tell me, do you think those rumors could be true? I wonder where they're headed. I'm sure we're going to find out, but I wonder where they're headed. So what's the actual story behind the Elysian box anyway? All who open it die, huh? Hmm, sounds awfully fishy to me. Perhaps so, but we've seen it happen with our very own eyes. The answer is out there, Luke, but I just need to find it. We will. I know it. It's a little, it's a little extreme. Prologue, the Elysian box. Here we go. It's a letter from my dear friend and mentor, Dr. Andrew Schrader. Is everything all right? My dear Herschel, knowing you, I imagine you've already heard of the relic known as the Elysian Box. This strange antique is infamous for killing anyone who opens it. Truth be told, I'm a bit dubious of the box's murderous reputation. But once something piques my interest, I simply must get to the bottom of it. That's why I'm pleased as punch to tell you that the elusive item is finally in my possession. Hmm. What's more, I believe I'm on the cusp of unraveling a great mystery tied to this box. For the moment, let's just say I have a theory, though I haven't been able to prove it yet. Initially, it was my intention to finish my research before daring to open its lid. But I must confess that my curiosity is simply overpowering. He gonna open the box. He gonna open the box. There's no coins here. Oh, it's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a puzzle. This is Doc. Oh, no, it's not. This is where we were supposed to go. This is Dr. Schrader's flat. I'm sure of it. Andrew, are you home? It's Herschel. Herschel Layton. Sir, are you there? Doctor? I don't hear anyone in there, Professor. What if he's... There's no time for speculation now, Luke. We must get this door open immediately. Mm, it seems to be locked from the inside. But without a key, there's no way to get in. Ah, of course. In my haste, I forgot about these keys the doctor included in his letter. It's going to be a puzzle for us to figure out which key. Those are some dope-looking keys. Quick, Professor, let me try them on the door. Hmm? That's strange. It doesn't seem like any of these keys work on the lock. Luke, don't you see? Dr. Schrader has set before us yet another puzzle to solve. Here we go. Here we go. Puzzle number three, the right key. This one's worth 20 picarats. Which key opens the door? As you might expect, the key won't open the door if its shape won't let it pass through the keyhole. Use your stylus to fit the keys in the lock. Examine each key carefully and use your stylus to move the keys and find the one that fits the lock. That's it? We just moving the keys? Okay. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> so the keys don't exactly fit in the way you would try to fit these keys in. You could rotate them to try to fit them in. So you could put them in backwards. Give me the, this one don't rotate. This one rotates, yeah. I mean, nope, that one doesn't work. Okay, so we can't get this wrong. There we go. Just leave it to me. That was almost too easy. There we go. Got it. This is one of the one of the things the Professor Layton games has you do is think outside the box, the Elysium box. Oh boy. <sighs> Oh boy! <laughs> it's uh, it's told 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 me, told me. I think it was his name. Huh? Hey, it's you. Well, tell me. Inspector tell me the name. You two found the body, did you? <laughs> no, Luke. Let him go. Luke, stop that. That's his face. Listen here, Luke. Oh my gosh, his face doesn't come off. He's the real deal. What in the blazes? That's my face, not some piece of taffy. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean it. I was sure we had another imposter on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> the scenario you paint certainly isn't out of the realm of possibility. But considering the lights were off when we entered the room, I don't think we've found our answer yet. Oh, uh, really? Furthermore, look around you, Inspector. Doesn't anything strike you as odd? What do you mean, Professor? Study your surroundings, Luke. I'm sure you can see it, too. Oh, it's a puzzle? <laughs> I thought you just want me to examine the room. A secure room. Puzzle number four. This picarot is worth... I'm sorry, this puzzle is worth 30 picarots. With its windows opening out into thin air eight stories up and its door securely bolted, you might think that this room is inaccessible from the outside. However, a single unusual detail reveals the truth of what went on here. Your job is to look around the room by tapping the arrows to find this detail. Uh, once you've got it, circle the area with your stylus and choose submit to give your answer. Make sure to circle only one object when you answer it. Okay, so this room, this room's on the eighth floor. The windows were open. And some, one thing is wrong here. Let's look around. This is actually an interesting puzzle here. Okay, so we've seen all four sides of the room. We've seen all... I need my glasses. I should have worn my glasses today. We've seen all four sides of the room. The windows open. We're on the eighth floor and the door was locked. Something is wrong here. Something is wrong aside from the window being open. Why was the window open? Could it be like the first time we passed through, I was thinking that it was that we've got all these books and all these papers, but nothing's blown out the window. Nothing's blown around the room. And now I'm kind of thinking it's this window and it's drapes because this one's got its drapes, but the other one does not I'm, I'm going to assume that's it. Please redraw. Don't tell me to redraw my circle, fam. So this window. I'm going to assume that's it. I feel like I feel like I'm wrong. I feel like I'm wrong. Just leave it to me. Yeah. Did it. 
That was almost too easy. Did it? I'm assume they came in that window instead of the other one. The other one looks like that's where they went out. They might have come in the window that I circled. For some reason, part of the curtain shown here has been ripped clear off. Or they might have used it to escape. Moot used the curtain to escape, I mean, not the window. This window is missing a curtain. Hmm, so it is. But what exactly does this have to do with my crime scene? There we go. Used it to escape. Tight rope to another builder. It means someone exited the building through this window, and I'll bet he's our culprit. Dope. What's going on, Justin? Welcome to the stream. Play a little bit, of Professor Layton. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way, you can stay up to date on all changes.